While we know that Thanksgiving is about being thankful for the things that you're blessed with, I must say one of the things I'm thankful for is stuffing, or dressing, depending on who you ask. There's something about that delicious aroma of spices and veggies baking with the bread that just sends me over the moon. I grew up on the box stuff, and that's okay if that's your tradition, but believe me when I tell you that making it from scratch is worth it. So grab a cup of hot cocoa, it's time to bake some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees. The drying of the bread is something you can do a week or two ahead. You'll need 20 ounces of the bread of your choice. Here I use light wheat bread, hot dog buns, and sweet bread buns. I know it sounds crazy, but you know how you have some older bread that's a little on the stale side? Well that is perfect for dressing. Get out your bread knife. This is the knife that has the rounded end and serrated blade to allow you to saw through bread without squishing it. Cut your bread into strips, then turn to cut into like-sized cubes and place on a cookie sheet. Repeat with all the bread you're using. If you're doing a hot dog bun too, just cut down the slit and then cube them that way. You will likely need two sheet pans so that you can evenly spread out all the bread to toast evenly. Bake in the oven for 10 minutes, then toss the bread a little to loosen it and brown the other side. Bake for five more minutes, check the bread for dryness, and repeat no longer than 25 minutes until the bread is dry like a crouton. Cool completely and then transfer to a bag and tie it up until you need it. When you're ready to make your stuffing, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. In a large mixing bowl, add the bread cubes, then half of the 3 quarter teaspoon of poultry seasoning, and toss to coat before adding the rest. Don't skip this seasoning, it's what makes dressing taste like dressing. Add half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of thyme, and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. To that, add the diced carrot, diced celery, and caramelized onions. I like a bit of a bite to my veggies and my stuffing, but if you prefer them soft, just saute them for five minutes prior to adding to the bread mixture. Add two beaten eggs, and give a preliminary toss of the ingredients. Add your broth and give it a stir to combine. Add one and a half cups of broth. I use low sodium chicken broth, if you prefer a drier stuffing or if it's going inside the bird. Add two cups of broth if you like a more wet restaurant style dressing. This is the consistency you want if you like a wetter dressing that will not be inside the bird. Grab a 9x13 pan. If you're going for something pretty, a glass or metal pan will be fine. If you don't want to do dishes or you're traveling with it, the aluminum foil version is a good choice. Spray the bottom and sides with cooking spray and spoon your dressing into the pan and spread it out evenly. If you've used low sodium broth, you may want to give a few dashes of salt to the top of the dressing. Then cover it with foil. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes in the oven. If you like that bit of crunch on top, turn the broiler on low, turn on the oven light, and watch it in one minute intervals. Don't do this step distracted and end up the Pinterest fail on Thanksgiving Day. This dressing is both Mr. Crinkle and I's favorites. Because our family isn't as enthusiastic as stuffing as we are, we might get an extra helping and that's just fine with us. Making your own stuffing truly lets you customize it however you like using whatever ingredients you like. But this is a great basic stuffing that you can build on the more you make it. For us, it wouldn't be the holidays without it. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more baking magic from Mrs. Crinkle's Kitchen.